With the launch of the Matter Standard at an official event in Amsterdam on November 3rd, we have officially entered the next stage of the smart home. A number of companies and the CSA, which is the governing board for the Matter Standard, gave us important announcements that will change homes and lives. The Matter Standard has eight device categories today, but we'll introduce nine more very soon. Amazon announced 17 speakers and displays will get Matter updates this year, but they have 30. Acara announced that their M2 hub right here will get a Matter update in December, but they have a ton of other hubs. Intuya has over 50 products in their pipeline getting certified for Matter through their program, but they expect upwards of 200 by the end of this year. This is just the tip of the iceberg, and some of the announcements made are going to excite you. Of course, I always have a few bombs to drop that you won't love. So let's find out when Matter is going to start changing your home. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life, and yes, Matter will be here in force in December. Some of you will already have access to certain aspects of Matter, and obviously, as we go, more and more companies are providing updates to their devices, or already creating new products for you to purchase. The first thing to understand is what Matter is. I would describe it as the top layer of all of these different technologies. Like you have Zigbee here on this uh, camera hub from Acara, and we have Zigbee that works on this, and these are Wi-Fi based, and there's Bluetooth and Thread and Z-Wave and all these different terms that you've heard for the ways that smart home products communicate with other smart home products in your home. Because of all of these technologies and because of how companies in general build smart home products, we had to have something that tried to bring the entire industry together and made it simple for people. The expectation of Matter is that when you see their logo on a product, it will just work in your smart home. And so that's the ultimate goal. Now, how close are they to achieving that today? Well, that's a discussion around immediacy. The fact is, those eight device categories that I talked about at the start of today's video don't really span enough to really change your smart home. That's where the nine additional device types that were unveiled at the event are going to be really important. Critical to this list from my perspective are some sensor types that are critical to a smart home working well, as well as cameras, robot vacuums, and appliances. With those few additions, the Matter Standard will start to address a lot of our homes. Now there's no stated date for those to come out, but it was announced at this event that biannually we will get updates for the Matter Standard, and that should put our next version in about March of next year with some of those device types coming in. Now, at the event, there was talk of even more device types with things like toys or medical and wellness devices and some other really wild device types being explored but not yet on the schedule, which tells you just how far this standard intends to go. The immediate usefulness of the Matter Standard is going to depend on where you get your products from. What I mean by this is really well illustrated by Amazon's announcements at this event. They have 17 of their existing smart speakers and displays that will get a Matter update before the end of this year. That Matter update though, doesn't address a lot of those eight device types. And there are restrictions for how it will be applied as well. Number one, plugs, switches, and bulbs will be the only device types that will work with Amazon and Matter in 2022. Number two, this will only be a Matter over Wi-Fi, so no threat. Number three, this will only be available on Android. Now next year, Matter over Thread, the other device types, and iOS or Apple devices will come. There are a few reasons this is going on and Amazon spoke about having 100 million devices out on the market today and needing to make sure that bugs were not going to show up for their end users, at least not before they moved over. So they don't wanna treat their platform like a testing ground at all, which I appreciate. That should tell you though that Amazon is very certain 
that those things they are putting out are going to work very well. Now the whole only on Android thing is something that is obviously going to get Apple iPhone users. And what seems to be going on here is that Apple's just released some of their developer tools. My understanding also is that any Matter device onboarded with an iPhone or an iPad will have to go into Apple's home app. It doesn't sound like Google is taking the same tact today. And although I don't have a problem personally with all of my devices showing up in the Apple home application, some people will. What's basically happening is that they are enforcing what's called Matters multi-admin feature with the home app. So if you use an Apple iOS device for setup, this is gonna happen for you. One thing for those of you using Amazon and Samsung's devices is that you had heard in our previous coverage of the Samsung Developers Conference that Google Home and Samsung SmartThings would be using that multi-admin feature to make sure that if you set something up in either of the two apps, it would jump across to the other and would be automatically set up. That's really great, but what was also announced at this event was that Amazon and Samsung would have the same partnership. So I think if I'm reading my tea leaves right here, if you set up in SmartThings on an iOS device, all four of those big company apps should have instant access. But the truth is that if you're buying products from a smaller company right now, it's probably going to be even more exciting and you're going to have access to Matter and its features earlier. I think that this is a period where we could see a huge shift in recommended smart home platforms. One of those platforms comes from Xiaomi through their subsidiary, Akara. This M2 hub will become a Matter controller and a Matter bridge in December. For those of you who don't know, a Matter controller means that you can control any Matter certified device. Whereas a Matter bridge allows older products like this one to be controllable with other Matter controllers. The amazing thing about what Akara is doing is fourfold. Number one, more than 40 of their existing and often inexpensive Zigbee devices will be exposed to other Matter controllers through that Matter bridge. Their final number as reported by The Verge will be around 160 existing products. Number two, almost all of their existing hubs, at least the ones after the M1S, will get Matter updates in the near future. Although they didn't give exact timelines for those. They won't just be a Matter bridge either, as they will open up their application to bring in other Matter devices. This could mean that a Matter certified light switch for anyone else would show up and it would be usable in Akara's app. And they have one of the best rules engines too. So this is very exciting. And number four, Akara is still taking note of the changes between Zigbee and Thread and they will release a whole array of new Thread devices. Plus, they're re releasing an M3 hub that will include Thread on it. To me, this is Akara showing us truly how the ubiquitous smart home is supposed to work. And companies like Ikea are actually following suit. Akara has always worked really well with Apple HomeKit. And you're gonna find that many of the companies that work with Apple HomeKit are going to continue to be able to move forward with the Matter standard, at least a little easier than some of the others. It does sound like Philips Hue is having a bit of an issue because I read that their Matter update would come to their hubs at latest in March of next year. It also doesn't sound like it will include the Hue Sync box or the latest dial switch because of Bluetooth and device type incompatibility. But it sounds like Hue's Matter update will cause Apple HomeKit users to have to redo that connection. So we have to see if that starts to be a problem or if Signify, who owns Philips Hue, can get around it. One exciting aspect of Hue with Matter is that all of those non-Hue lighting products that you have connected to their hub will be exposed to Matter. That's a Matter bridge doing its thing. But when Matter is usable in your home is mostly based on some of your existing products getting updates. The fact is some updates have been shoehorned into your home already. iOS devices over OS 16.0 like the HomePod mini already have the Matter update and are ready for end devices today. This is the same case with Samsung SmartThings users who have experienced updates and already see the ability to add Matter products on 
on Android. Google's update to Android 13 included a lot of what you need for Matter, and IKEA's new hub is now in your home if you want it. All of this is gearing up to start changing your home in early December. But we need some more end devices, so smart plugs and smart bulbs and light switches and all these other things. I think the best way for me to tell you where some of those will come from, come from is rapid fire. Eve will let you upgrade three of their products on December 12th to matter, with more future upgrades coming to existing products. One funny thing about Eve and their matter updates is that you're going to require an iOS device that's because right now they only connect that way and you need a firmware update to be Matter compatible. So there's gonna be some weird stuff going on like that. Nanoleaf announced four new Matter compatible bulbs and strips for Q1 of next year. They are all thread border routers as well, meaning they'll extend your thread network. One interesting thing to note about what Nanoleaf announced is that there are some advanced features only available in their app. So for things like dynamic scenes, this actually makes sense because not all of the Matter controllers have options for dynamic scenes. By the way, it doesn't sound like they, uh, their current shapes, elements, or lines, lineups will get upgraded. So you have what you have with Nanoleaf. Schneider Electric certified its wiser gateway to be a matter bridge of their existing Zigbee devices. They have over 200 devices that will eventually be bridged. Level locks are only Bluetooth, right? And they're stuck only working with HomeKit. Right? Actually, we just found out that they have hardware support for Thread and will soon be updated to support Matter over Thread. That'll blow up their usefulness in what is the most hidden smart lock on the planet. And this is with the Encode Plus from Schlag already having Thread and being announced to support Matter. Plus, Yale had previously announced that they would sell an additional module to bring Thread over Matter to the Assure 2 locks. Brilliant makes those beautiful panels that cost too much money, but they will bring Matter support to those in 2023. Orin, MuJoy, and Linkind brands have joined the AI Dot smart home app, and there are a few products from each brand that will employ Matter over Wi-Fi or Matter over Thread plus the app. Smartwings is currently crowdfunding some Thread smart blinds that will be updated to Matter over Thread when released. Yee Light is adding matter to their classic home lighting series and adding a brand new lineup called Yee Light Fun. Their new cube device looks very fun and is matter certified already. And keep in mind that not every company came to this event because they weren't at the forefront of the matter standard, but companies like GE, Sanglid, Lutron, Sumfi, and even companies like Wise will come forward with their own updates as all of them have stated that they're working on this and are paying attention to how their future and existing product lineups will shift. GE specifically has said they want products on shelves right away. So I'm thinking the whole sync library will get that update. And I know that sometimes the details of these things matter. Yeah, that was an unintended pun. But there were some really interesting announcements at this event that tells the, the story of where we're headed. One in three people in Spain already have a robot vacuum. Almost everyone in every country is looking at a video doorbell first. I said that there were eight device categories already certified with Matter, but actually there's a ninth. Uh, this is software and it's intended to give companies a short or a quick way to have software that is Matter compliant. Speaking of device types, there have been applications for toys, medical and wellness devices and some other device types that you wouldn't expect. They can't be certified but are being discussed for the next round of device types to be added. Since the Matter 1.0 standard was released on GitHub about a month ago, there have been over 7,000 downloads by developers of the different components of the Matter standard. Tuya has a number of certifications already done, and through their business model, they will be able to provide certificates for Matter, meaning that companies can come to them and get a full turnkey working smart home product that is Matter certified. Right now, Tuya is certifying 60 products and they expect by the end of the year to have up to 200. So get ready for the flood 
in the Tuya app. Not only that, but they will provide Matter over Wi-Fi, Matter over Thread, and the most interesting one that they will provide is Matter through a bridge. That means some of the existing bridges that have been created could become a Matter bridge through the Tuya app. Who knows what devices and what hubs we will have to buy to get that, but there is a way to maybe take all of those old products you had and get them ported into Matter. But there's one interesting piece there. This was all stated with the Tuya app and not the Smart Life app. So we might have some movement to do. So you're gonna get a ton of new options for your smart home in December, but it's gonna take up to about six months for things to really start shifting. And if you wanna build your smart home right, then you need to watch our Smart Home 101 videos, which are like a crash course in doing the best things in the world of smart home. Those videos are up on screen now. So check that out. And otherwise, as always, don't hate, automate.